G'day knuckleheads, Uncle Knackers here. Now today's video is a follow-up to that last demolition slash asbestos video. And just in case you missed it, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. So make sure you check that one out first. Now today's video, I'd like to bring in an asbestos expert for us to have a chat to. So make sure you stick around because this should be a good one. And I apologize for the slightly reddish kind of hue. It's just that we're standing on a red floor. Yes, a red floor with a white ceiling. And that's not the best combination for shooting video. Or for anything else for that matter. Is this an Australian video or what? Thanks fellas, on cue. So here we are talking with Peter Green from Green Brothers Asbestos Removals. How are you mate? Good Joe, how are you? Good mate, good. Thanks for doing this, much appreciated. Now Peter is a licensed asbestos contractor and you've been doing it for how long now? Uh, me and my brother, 10 years each yep. experience and Thank we've been set up for four years now at okay. our own asbestos removal. Okay, beautiful. Now Peter and Rob are the guys who are doing the asbestos removal for my renovation. Now what I thought we'd do first Pete is just go over the legalities of removing asbestos and then look at taking a sheet of asbestos off a wall and then look at how to dispose of that properly. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Let's get it done. Let's do it. So from a legal point of view, Pete, how much can the DIYer remove? Legally in Australia, it's 10 square metres. Anyone at home can do 10 square metres. So if your job comes to over 10 square, then you need to get professionals in. But if you've only got a piece like that, then he's taking off and legally you're allowed to do it. Yeah. So really, 10 square metres is basically only one wall of a of a bedroom, something like that? Yes, it's not a lot. And it's the chances lot. that you're only going to come across 10 are probably rare. Yeah. If you've got 10, you're going to have more. So that's right, that's right. Get the professionals in, but if you're happy to attempt it yourself, that's yeah. how to do it. Okay. And what about, um, there's websites you can go to? There's obviously websites, WorkSafe Australia, I think they are these days, that will run everything. And then you've got each, every state, every ter territory is going to be different. Look up your local work cover, WorkSafe, yeah. all the information is there. So if in doubt, just go to those websites. Plenty of information these days, codes of practices. That's what we base all our stuff on, is a code of practice, yeah. how to remove asbestos. It's all there if you need it. That's it. So just be safe. So Pete, when removing asbestos, you also need special equipment, don't you? You do. Okay. And like, we start off with personal protection, being the suit, which is a... It's a particle five which is for hazardous material, yeah. dry hazardous material. There are different ones available on the market. Make sure you check the back. Make sure yeah. you find out they're rated for part dry dust. Dry dust, yeah. And so you want to be covered from head to toe. Head to toe, yep. Yeah. And the mask? Different mask out there as well. You have a P3. So P3, that's the actual grade, isn't it? That's the grade. They all are rated for different materials. Minimum is P2 for yeah. asbestos, particle materials. And a P2. Paper mask is fine. A lot of time we we'll use these on smaller jobs. Larger jobs, I'm a bit more comfortable with something like this. Yeah, a P3. P3, it just fits better. Yeah. They're yeah. a bit more cost effective in the yeah. long run. So, I think from my viewpoint, I'd definitely go for one of these babies, I think. They retail around the $100 mark. Yeah. With filter, all the rest. But yeah. Definitely worth it. You have pre filters in them, which will get rid of the majority. Yeah. I don't think any mask you get on the market is 100% guaranteed, yep, yep. but they're right up there. Okay, no worries. So once you've got yourself covered up from head to toe, you've got your mask on. We have sprayers. Obviously you need water on the site. So what's the water for? Dust suppression. Right. Any type of dust, obviously water is a good thing to keep dust down. Right. You don't want too much water, yep. so these sprayers are great. So you spray your sheet down first? Keep moisture on there. A lot of dust that comes off these sheets are dust that are just in your cavity in general. Yep. Might not even contain asbestos, but yep. it's good just to suppress those dust fibres. That's right. And keep everything to a minimal. So you've got one with water and one with PVA mixed into it? Fine water mist, either bottle, any spray bottle. Sometimes we use hose on larger jobs. Yep. You've got to really watch that runoff. Yep. And then we have our PVA glue mix, wood glue, concrete, which is just a good thing to seal up fibres. Any broken sheets are in your house, Bit of PVA glue, PVA mixed, strong milky paste. There's yeah. no 
major set ratios. Every bottle's gonna be different, but just get a nice milky, strong mix that, in there. A milky consistency. Give it a hit, let it dry, and you should be strong dry. Pretty good. Cool. Now, vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner cleaner is another important part. Obviously, if you're not doing it commercially, it's pretty expensive and not really worth your, your while, but yeah. they're nearly vital to have on jobs. So that's a H5 rated vacuum cleaner. They're rated H5, they've got a HEPA filter in them, which are the standard, they're not just your normal vacuum you buy from the market. These things retail for around 2,000. Yeah. All different pricing, different styles you can get. You and really need to get in the H5 yeah. class for asbestos. And, and no doubt you can rent one of those anyway. You can rent I one. think there are mobs that rent them, but once again, they try to refer away from them because yeah. of what you use. And yeah, true. Really, true. true. There's something that should be looked after and kept safe, yeah. kept cleaned up. And basically, you don't want to use your own home vacuum cleaner. No, you'll get a lot of people thinking they use a home. A lot of them come with the HEPA filter these days. They're yeah. not the HEPA filter you want. No. They're only a basic HEPA filter. You really want to do something that's something last like H5. Yeah. yeah, commercial. Now... Basic hand tools. Oh, you also got your boots? Boots. Once again, we don't want anything that's going to catch the fibres, so you really want like a leathery thing that's going to be able to easily vacuum off, rinse off, and yeah. handy the job. Wash it off, yeah. Hand tools. Hand just, tools. Everything's done with hand tools. Don't you know, use power tools. Power tools are illegal to use on asbestos. Any yeah. type of power tools you don't want to use, and they spread the fibres. Everything's got to be kept to a minimum, so we're using basic hand tools. Yeah, so we've got a hammer, a little crowbar, and, uh, and some pincers to get those nails out. Now, plastic, because you need to wrap. And plastic's probably the one most important. We lay a drop sheet down, so yep. all our stuff is falling on plastic, is then wrapped in another drop sheet, double layered, which is 200 and in plastic is what you need, yep. which is a rating, so it won't pierce it so much. Yep. We're double wrapped and we're using a good good tape right. to tape them up, to okay. seal it up nice and tight. Excellent. Now, so that's the equipment. What about signage? So Pete, as far as signage goes, the main point is just to keep people out of the site, isn't it? We need, definitely need a warning telling people there's asbestos going on. Warning, danger, asbestos removal in progress. Yep. Any entrance to your site, you want signs and barricades, tape, something just to stop people coming in. Yep. Another sign is just to let them know what's required, like any job site. Hard hats, boots, suits in our case, and masks to even come onto our site. Yep. And we want a good 10 metre perimeter, if, if possible. Yep. So what we do is safe and contained, but you don't want anyone in your sites. Yeah. Just keep everyone at bay. No worries. And there should also be a contact phone number for us. So if anyone does turn up, they yeah. can contact me and I can come out and let me know. suit wherever. come out and actually talk to them properly. Okay. Excellent. And we might head over to the area where you've got some or some asbestos already wrapped yep. up. We'll show you exactly how much comes out of these jobs. Okay. So Pete, these are the stacks of asbestos that you've taken out of our property. It's a fair bit there. There is. There's a lot, a lot that comes out of these jobs, and a lot of people won't see this side of things. But yep. there's a lot of weight in these packs. Yeah. And so each pack is individually wrapped to about 50 kilograms. Once again, every tip's different, so you really need to check with your tips. Some tips will let you dump loads of it in a truck. Yeah. So you can go a bit bigger, but a lot of tips these days want you to hand dump that load. Yeah. Yep. Two man okay. lifts. It saves breakage. It saves trying to dump the stuff. Yeah. Okay. So we got ours are about 50 kilo packs, two of us that can lift and remove them. Yep. Double wrapped, sealed up tight and labelled. Labelled. Very important. Put that label on Put it. Put a label on it. If you're transporting it, it needs to be labelled. Okay, cool. So Pete's all suited up and ready to go. Now, what's the first plan of attack, mate? Well, to start with, we've already removed this room. We've re taken all the trims off, which makes it a lot easier. Yep. And we've reduced it down to one sheet. The one sheet's sheet. been glued. All the edges have been glued already, so we're safe to stand here. Yep. Now my process will be once I put my mask and then on, to hit it with a little bit of moisture and then chip these nail heads. Every nail head needs to be chipped off. So how do you chip those off, mate? What's the process? This weird out tool's coming in handy. Yeah. It's basically a wonder bar, a chisel, whatever you're comfortable with. Head on top. Popping that head off. Try not to dip into that fibro. You don't want to release anything. Nice clean hits. Get them nails off. The whole sheet will come off nice and off. smooth. Yeah. We'll hit it with a little bit of moisture. We load our drop sheet and we'll wrap it. Okay, let's do that, mate.
So the sheet's off, down on that plastic. Now technically we're not breaking these sheets. The idea is not to break, but in these conditions we need to, to wrap them up, they need to be broken up. Otherwise, trying to move this around, it's going to snap on you when you're moving it later. So a moment like this, under these conditions we can break it. My food, my mask, I've got my moisture. What I'll do is make sure I've got water on it, around where I think I'm going to crack him. Put nice and flat and easy. You can just simple. That gives us a parcel that can be wrapped. So we're double wrapping. I said one sheet. I'm trying to keep everything nice and square and flat. And then we come into the plate. So we seal it along the seal. Double tape to make sure that edge is sealed up. Make sure any gaps are sealed. This way we know nothing's coming out, it's nice and safe for later on in the transport. Well that's our pack wrap, safe, obviously only a small sheet, easy to move. We'll put that one aside and then we've got our cleaner. This is just a removal of nails. Again, a little bit of moisture. The pincers coming into play. And we're just taking these. Okay. Well, Pete, thanks very much for that, mate. It was much appreciated. No problem. It was fantastic. And I hope you all gained something out of that. Now, asbestos removal, pretty serious business. It is. So let's sort of uh, lighten the mood up a little bit with a couple of quick fire questions. Okay, Pete, you ready? Yep, sir. Righto, mate, you ready? Go. Let's do it. What do you like to watch on TV? Football? Footy? Footy. League or? League. 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 Only league. Only league. Okay, cool. Chicken or steak? Steak. Steak? Steak. With what? With a guy in sauce on it? Or garlic gravy, butter? A bit of gravy. Plain gravy. Beautiful, mate. I'm a plain man. Favourite drink? Um, James Squires, 50, one, uh, 151 lashes. Ooh. Bit of the old craft beer, mate. Sort of... Uh, a little bit of my home brew. Been home brew? Home. Pretty good too. Oh, fantastic. Favourite holiday destination? Ooh. Where? Coffs Harbour. Coffs Harbour. <laughs> Born and bred, you can't beat it. <laughs> Star Wars or Star Trek? Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah, yeah. Favourite pizza topping? Uh, Metasaurus. Any meat will do me. Metasaurus. I love it. What would you be doing if you weren't removing asbestos? Um, hand in hand it goes with demolition. So yeah. my next, my other trade is demolition. So oh, I right. think that's where I fall. You're a demo in. boy. I'm a demo boy. Okay, mate. Excellent. And last but not least, who's your favourite YouTuber? Of course, Shane is. <laughs> Go on you, mate. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Pete. Really appreciate it. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed and found that video on asbestos removal useful. And a big thanks to Peter Green from Green Brothers Asbestos Removals. And I'll leave a link to those guys in the description box. 
below. So make sure you check those guys out. Now, as per usual, a big thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. All right, it's a bit cold and rainy today. I think it's time for a cup of tea. So till next time, I'm out of here. Cheers.